Hi sis, welcome back to my channel. I'm Unique and let's jump straight into these winter coats and jackets. They're all iconic in their own special way. They all are going to elevate a basic outfit to a spectacular one just by throwing them on okay so if you're excited to see them definitely like this video subscribe if you're new welcome to the family sis and let's hop straight into coat number one now coat number one i picked up from nicole lionel it is a black owned woman owned brand so shout out to nicole because she's over there killing it and she is slaying the girls every single day because this jacket every time i wear it people ask me where it's from people want the link i have to stop every time i wear it to share where i've gotten this jacket from because people are obsessed and i don't blame them because i am too okay this jacket is so warm now this is a made for colder weather the quality is top tear period okay she is padded from top to bottom all the way through i love the plaid detailing i love the different colors that run throughout it and the tones work really well for pairing with cooler items that green that runs through there the blue i mean it's beautiful so i am wearing a size small and you can see it's very long it hits me past my knees i love pairing this with just like a black my black skims turtleneck bodysuit that I've been killing as well as my black skims cat suit that I've been killing and and running out the door um I love it it's perfect for a street style effortless chic like sporty chic kind of looks beautiful 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 jacket I actually posted a reel with this jacket and it did hit over a million of views. So I'm just saying, y'all are obsessed with it just like I am. So <laughs> it is worth every single coin that she's asking for because quality is it's luxury quality. It is luxury quality, hand down. If you can't tell I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed <laughs> with this jacket so much so that it has ruined the experience of other jackets for me because when I pick up like a lightweight jacket I'm like Ugh, what is this this ain't Nicole Lionel <laughs> so extra you give a girl luxury and now she don't know how to act <laughs> the yeah. next jacket is it's a coat, baby. It's not a jacket. It is a coat. Let me get it right, okay? It is a long line coat. It is thick. Another one that is made for colder weather. Okay, so all of my girls who are always like, okay, sis, you live in Georgia. That's mild winter. This jacket, I'm sorry, this coat is meant for for winter weather it is so thick and so padded so comfortable i almost feel like i'm cheating because i am wearing a blanket it's just a stylish blanket it literally just wraps you up and hugs you and is so cozy so comfortable she just happens to be fabulous because that's the energy that she gives when i throw this coat on it's very much who oh yes like <laughs> The vibe is different with this coat on. It still kind of like highlights your figure. I, again, because I live in milder winter, like to wear it open and I like to tie that uh, the waistband in the back just to give it a little bit more cinching in the waist that I'm trying to get back to the waist, but we gonna get there. We gonna get it together. I picked this up in a size US 6 because I was thinking about being able to fit chunkier sweaters like this one underneath these coats without having any issues or dealing with, you know, feeling restricted, um, especially throughout the sleeves. I didn't know that Topshop coats hit the way that they do. I had no idea. Baby is thick. She's giving luxury. Like, I'm trying to, I'm not really trying to see because I'm not trying to spend that type of money but what do thousand dollar coats feel like like i i want to know what do the thousand dollar coats feel like if the hundred dollar coats feel like this i think i might just go try one on <laughs> Just to see, does it really get better than this? I styled this on Instagram with that green cutout Zara sweater that y'all saw a couple of hauls ago and my black Zara leather shorts that I'm obsessed with and a boot and girl, I still can't get over that outfit. Like I love Obsessed. I have worn that, that particular outfit at least twice at this point. 
so good especially with a pop of color y'all know that i'm up my pop of color in this season is green <laughs> and so this coat looks so nice with green against it chef's kiss chef's kiss this one uh, y'all haven't seen this one on instagram yet it is the top shop patchwork long sherpa coat in green and cream she is also very thick and not as thick as the black and white one but also very thick quality is there i love the green patches in here it's like a deeper kind of green so i think it's perfect for summer summer girl don't wear this in summer you're gonna die heat stroke okay <laughs> It's perfect for winter. Um, I love this color combination. The cream in here is like a true cream. It is not white, okay? It is a true cream. So that's something to consider when you're shopping. I love this color combination on my skin tone. I mean, I'm a black girl. We tend to look good in all colors. This is no different. I love the length of this coat. Again, it's just an easy way to throw on and go and look styled and put together. So beautiful. The next one is a Topshop faux fur long coat in checkerboard print. Now this print, because it is a smaller print, it definitely is a little more eye-catching. This is a head turner, it's a head turner for sure. So if you are not the person who likes attention, this is probably not the, this is probably not the coat haul for you to begin with because they all gather a lot of attention. I love this coat. I did feature this coat over on Instagram in one of my reels when I was pairing it with the brown abstract dress from 1130. Y'all were kind of split on that combination because you know it's print versus print but I really love this geometric kind of structured print with the softness of the fur. It, it's like a duality of being like so soft and cozy but yet so structured with the grids. I love this coat too. This one actually might be okay with a little warmer weather. Um, great for mild winters if you live in a place like Georgia like I do or Florida, you know, somewhere where you have milder winters. This is a great coat where, you know, because when you live in a mild winter or, you know, you're Jamaican like me, anything that starts with a six <laughs> is cold for us right so if you're in those 60 ranges this is a great coat for that temperature okay <laughs> and now y'all understand why i was picking up more brown items in my most recent hauls like my pretty little thing haul if you haven't seen that yet go ahead and go see that girl go see it sis i'll link it up below up below what is wrong with me today i can't i cannot i will leave it up in the cards and down below in the description box so that you can go and see that haul as well but now you understand why i was picking up more brown items because i was thinking about this coat in particular so the coat that i picked up from misguided is the tall because i got it in the tall section tan faux fur vinyl trench coat baby this coat says drama and i wanted all of the drama and i picked this one up from misguided in particular because vinyl coats definitely have been trending this fall winter season however i did not want to invest too much in a vinyl piece because i was not sure how much i would personally wear it and i'm not gonna lie i've been wearing this coat a lot a lot but it's another one where when you wear it, people ask about it. So again, if you don't like a lot of attention, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if these are the coats for you because I, I always at least get complimented on this coat. Quality wise, it does not compare to any of the other coats that we've talked about so far. It's thinner it's definitely for fashion not for warmth the fur um on the sleeves and around the collar is uh you can tell the difference quality is not terrible it's not falling apart on you but it's not a coat where you should leave in the trunk of your car to go through those like drastic temperatures changes you shouldn't be doing that you definitely want to hang this coat up as soon as you get home don't throw it down it tends to stick to each other so you want to make sure you take care of it i mean regardless any of your clothes doesn't matter what price point it is it could have been two dollars or two thousand dollars take care of your things that's the only way that things are going to last you and where you're not constantly buying over and over again 
wash them, put them away, take them off the floor, take them out of your car. Like, come on, we can do better. We can do better. So this is definitely an item that you want to take care of for it to have the longevity that it can. But for the statement, for the style, for deciding if you want to invest in a higher quality vinyl item, I think this is a great coat to do so. I don't have any other piece in my closet like this. I don't have any other coat that's this color either. So it was filling a void that I wanted to fill that I had in my closet. And I think it definitely achieved what I was going for. This is another one that I paired with that 1130 dress. I'll insert the reel here just so you can see what I'm talking about if you don't follow me on Instagram, but you should. Follow me on Instagram, especially if you want outfit inspo or style inspiration. Follow me over on Instagram. I wore her to brunch the other day and they just kept like, girl, I mean, it's giving us 90s energy. And it is. For the younger folks, it's a throwback. Like, it's a, a nod to the icon. But for us, it's it's our age. <laughs> I was a child in the 90s, so I wasn't, I wasn't participating in 90s fashion in this way. So I feel like this is my turn to do 90s fashion as an adult and not as a little girl in 511 different color bubbles in her hair. The next coat that I got is truly a jacket. This is a blazer that I picked up also from ASOS. Now I had been eyeing this blazer on ASOS for a while. The issue was that it kept going out of stock in my size. So I grabbed this as soon as it came back in stock. I grabbed this. I got it in a size US 6. I wish I got it in a 4 though because it is just a touch too oversized for me. So I will be taking this jacket in. Uh, to get tailored just so it can be a little more fitted a little more tailored to my body it is on that vinyl side but it's uh, you can see the difference I don't feel like it's swallowing me but I do wish that it was just a tad bit tailored especially in my back my blazer fit of choice is like a double breasted blazer, which this is more of like, you know, um, what is trendy at this time, like that oversized dad blazer type of fit. That is what this blazer is giving us. Not necessarily my style. So I am going to take it in to just get a little bit more tailored and especially on the sleeves because the sleeves are also oversized. But that's because it's my preference to have my blazer is just a little bit more tailored. This also will look really nice in a sleek outfit, like that black cat suit from Skims that I've been living in. I think that also would look really nice as a compliment of like, you know, something very, very tight. And then you have this oversized jacket on top of it. I think that would look really nice together as well. And again, with the ponytail, because y'all know I'm obsessed with my ponytails. But we in wig season. We're in wig season. And I don't know how I haven't mentioned the color yet. Because everything about this blazer is the color. It's in what? Green. Because at this point I have a problem. Like, why are all my pop of colors green right now? It's a different type of green though. It's not Bottega green. If nothing else, check out Topshop coats. Because... Baby, they hit, and the quality is so good that they deliver it to you on a sturdy hanger. I've never seen it. Never seen it. In all my years of online shopping, I've never had a coat delivered to me on a sturdy hanger. What have I been doing? Where have been I been shopping before? Like this video if you haven't liked it yet. Subscribe if you made it this far, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.